Hey folks, welcome back to Failure at Retirement. So today we're going to get the 720 out and exercise it the same way we did the two smaller tractors. Similar to it, it's been sitting here for about a year, um, untouched, hasn't run, been blocked in by the green truck, better part of that year. So I got the green truck moved and uh, we're going to try to start this up, get her out of here, drive it around. I did put the battery charger on it last night just to ensure that the batteries had enough to fire it up. So let's give it a try and see what happens. And for those of you wondering, I did check the oil. There's coolant. There hasn't been a puddle under it, anything like that. So let's see what happens. <clears throat> There's that sweet music. Listen to her go. We move the uh, tripod and we'll see if she moves. Alright, it moves. Time for you to go with. We'll just do a quick walk around here. This one has three points. It's one of failure's requirements. This is a very, very original tractor. This one actually has wheel weights inside and out. I believe it's the only tractor filled failure owns with rear wheel weights. Definitely the only vintage one. So electric start diesel. Original paint the way failure likes it. Just got a pressure washed it a couple of years ago, but still got a lot on it. This one had a bad injector pump when a guy bought it. And it had been run that way for a while. So single front. Got the air cleaner. He is very, very original tractor. Let's 
get on her and go for a ride. Alright, so here we are. Let's go for a ride. So this tractor, I bought it from a guy about 15 miles south of me. He was just kind of over it, I think. He had gotten it from some of his family that was about two, two and a half hours further south of me. And this has been a hay farming tractor. His family, they were hay farmers. They used it to pull hay rake, baler. Uh, that was what he told me. So when they were done with it, we got it from them. He brought it up north here. He did a little hay farming himself for a few years. And the injection pump was out, and a uh, lot full of diesel, so we parked it. It's a great running tractor, but it definitely needed work when I got it. So I put the injector pump in it, got it running, and then figured out right away it really needed a radiator core. A radiator is just bleeding everywhere. Water pump was leaking. So I ended up having to put a radiator in it. It still needs work. Don't get me wrong. Uh, some of these gauges are like I'm not sure that the water temperature gauge works. If I remember right, the fuel gauge doesn't work. I kind of hope that I don't run out of diesel here. I always thought that was a trip on the single front. You really can't, especially on the 720, you really can't see that front wheel at all. If you turn really sharp, you'll see the front of it. 520, my dad had a 520 that had a single front on it for a long time. That was, uh, I believe that was the first hand clutch I learned how to drive. Matter of fact, Sitting right over here. That's this little guy is here. So this 520 will come back to you. It had a single front on it when my dad got it. And he run it with a single front for years. I liked it that way as a kid because of the tricky part where you can't see the front wheel. But as an adult, they're good for road crops, cultivating, I guess, and turning short on the ends. But they sure do ride rough. They are not fun to drive in a rough field, I'll tell you that for a fact. So, here where we are, most of our tractors are white flat. So, anyway. Appreciate you guys watching. Have a good day. We'll see you next time on the Failure Return. I'll put a little more footage on the end here as I pass it back into place. So stay, stay tuned if you want. Tune out if you want. It's all the same to Failure. Thanks.
like reverse gear on 720s and 730 is unnecessarily fast. If you agree with me, drop a comment. Thanks for watching if you hung out to the end. See you next time.